Okay, you guys, I'm so excited to show you this. If you watch New Girl and um, if you know the actors Jake Johnson and Max Greenfield, they played Nick and Schmidt on New Girl and they're having a webinar right now for CSU SM and they're wearing like CSU SM hoodies and this is like the freaking coolest thing ever and I have to show you guys. I'm like fangirling so hard right now. These jokes and those jokes, you know, that scene could take eight hours. <gasps> There's and that, you know, Nick and Chad. <laughs> and I think if you're having fun in a comedy, it comes across oh for the audience. I, I've never been part of something that was supposed to be comedic, that people were not having fun and then the audience liked it. So I think that actual actors enjoying each other and laughing goes a long way. And I don't think that's probably accurate with teaching, Matt. I, I'm sure you're not going to be like jamming out with the. You but, guys. But if you uh, can just jam out and have a good time. It's me. It's me. I think it lends itself to you, you know, anyone going into whatever situation. That well, Max is like pretending to be smart on this Zoom, and I'm not sure why. He's pretending to be like thought. He, he said he doesn't like to think before a job. Max, let me finish. Look at his head. He likes to go in. And the reason is, is when he tries to think, if he's. Good morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. Once again, I'm starting my vlog off in a car. What a shocker. But it's Saturday morning. It's 11.07. And I'm going to go to a coffee shop. Woo! It's hot in this car. I'm sweating. I got to open the door. Hold on one second. But, um, it's... Saturday. I'm going to a coffee shop right now to get some homework done. Um, I really, really wanted to take today off and just relax, but that's just not an option right now, and that's totally okay because finals week is coming up. I have a huge presentation next week, so these next two weeks are going to be pretty um, chock full of schoolwork, but that's it's life. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to just go to the coffee shop grab some coffee at a coffee shop oh, what a surprise and try to get some work done Good morning. It's Sunday. I didn't film a single thing yesterday. I just was low-key having a rough day and that's okay because that's life. It's reality. It was, it was really loud. But it's Sunday morning and it's raining out, which I don't understand because it was literally, what, like 90 degrees on Friday. Yesterday, like Saturday, it cooled off a little bit and now it just decided that it's going to be storming today. So that's fun. But I went out last night with some friends to Encinitas and it was so much fun. But like, I just can't hang like I used to. Let me tell you, I think quarantine like aged me. My head is just like, oh, 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 and I'm like, oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm about to go get some bagels because my roommate, oh my God, she's so cute, but she always makes, um, like bacon and like egg and cheese or whatever like English muffins in the morning and the bacon smell gets like through our apartment it smells so freaking good and I'm always like girl this smells so good like you're making me hungry so I had to get a bagel so we're gonna try this new place called New York uh New York bagels it's it's like in San Diego technically but it's not like deep in San Diego it's kind of like right when you get into San I don't I might have even making sense, but holy Toledo's and I'm just vibing. I'm going to wash my hair today. I put in some hair gel because um, I had like a bunch of flyaways and just I kind of wasn't looking too great. So I have to wash that later. Well, I took a shower when I woke up because I felt like disgusting, but I just did a body rinse in case you all wanted to know. But I'm a hydrate up and head off to get bagels. I 
got a salmon um, bagel. It's so big on everything bagel. I'm so excited. And then, of course, had to get a nice coffee. Yummy! There's gonna be way more bacon. I didn't really get that much bacon. Mm. Mm. The coffee, this is gonna sound weird, but the coffee, like, has a very strong coffee taste to it. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Yummy! Okay, taste test. This is thick. It's good. Um, I missed regular cream cheese. I forgot how good it is. Mm. Splurge day, eating real cream cheese. Don't tell anyone. Joe got a, a bioli. <laughs> I didn't know what to do it that way. It's a bagel without a hole. That's it's, it. it's kind of like a like a seasoned like roll. No. Yeah, man. I have it all over my mouth. <laughs> okay, time for a little haul. We just got back from Dick's Sporting Goods. I had good luck. So, first thing, why'd he double wrap this? It's hmm. raining. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I got this yellow Nike hat. It's like a, it's like a lemon drop yellow. And this is what it looks like. I really like it. I thought it looked so cute with the little gold hoops that I had on. I thought it would be cute for spring too. Just all my hats that I have are like, I have a lot of hats, but they're all black. Or like black and gray and white. I'm like, oh, this will be fun to have a pop of color. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, run, don't walk to Dick's because they have the ball of weights there. And I have a gray pair already, but they're kind of worn out. And I don't know if they're still like back ordered on the website, but they were literally back ordered for months. Like it took me so long to get them. So here are these and they just go over like your wrists and ankles i like them when i do my pilates workouts should i show them what you got yeah and then joe got a goodie it was like i want to see how much it was it was like probably like nine bucks no it was seven dollars and fifty cents oh. got this little like mint green champion they remind me of like university of oregon colors like the ducks mm, yeah it's like a really pretty um was this like mint green? I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. But yeah. Pistachio. 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 Went in there looking for sneakers and they just have the worst selection of sneakers. Yeah, dude, the weights. Oh. Current points balance. I don't know what that means. But um 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 It's like rewards on my account. Oh, it's your account. I forgot you used your number. But yeah, the ball of weights are like 50 bucks. But if you can buy them in person, like at a store, well, they're still $50, but you just don't have to pay for all that shipping and handling because that's what I had to do during quarantine when I bought them. I wanted to get a Hydro, but I was like, no, I have this guy for now. So I really want a new one, though. I, I want a new lid. This one's like getting old. But yeah, that was our little haul thought it would be fun to make like a vision board um i already have one but i have not like updated in a while and so i'm going through my pinterest like i love oh my gosh like what a freaking gorgeous human that person is and just like outfits and oh i don't know like oh my gosh my queen like that oh my gosh i need that in my board um, like those nails are cute. Oh, Haley Queen. But yeah, I'm just gonna go through this and look up some stuff. Oh my gosh, like goals. That's cute. Like a mixture of like home and like clothing and like that. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, well, I'm gonna make it and then 
I'll show you guys what it looks like after. This is fun. There's so many different things on here, and I think um, I want to do like uh, an East Coast based vision board because I'm moving there in a month. But I wanted to actually like talk about how important vision boards are, like mood boards. And um, the reason that I think, yeah, like obviously it's fun, like there's nothing that intense about like creating a vision or a mood board, but I think something really powerful about creating these boards is that like you're envisioning your life and like you're sorry my camera just has something flashing it's kind of weird but like it's like this life that you want to create and it's like you have to believe that you can create these things in your life to make them happen and I think by creating this board it's like motivation it's like those hard days or sometimes you feel like you can't get up in the mornings or like you're just slumped or you know you just want to procrastinate it's like okay like like at the bigger picture and like and also it like helps you reiterate like what's important to you and like okay maybe dedicating this much time towards something else isn't as important and like I don't know it just helps you see the bigger picture in life and if I personally feel like it kind of puts everything into perspective and you're like okay like this is like this will be worth it one day like maybe going the extra hour at the gym or maybe I don't know just midday thoughts and creating these boards and just believing in your life and putting it into um action and creating your dream life and what you want for yourself and obviously like you change your tastes and your goals over time and so it's interesting to see like maybe like a month ago your vision board was la and living in la in the sun and doing all this and that but then next month you're like i want to actually move to like tennessee and like farm life or not even farm life but you know like something like that and I just think it's really fun to have a little um reminder of what's truly important in life and why you do what you do and like what gives you the motivation every day to wake up and it's different for everyone so I don't know I just love creating them so I'll show you guys when I create mine okay here's my final little Oh, my, can't, my phone's slipping from my computer. But, okay. So, I kind of want to explain, like, why I chose these. I feel like I'm in school right now, explaining why I chose certain things. But, okay, for example, these are both, like, East Coast locations, like Boston and then Cape Cod. And I just think it's so beautiful. And um, this is, like, journaling organization. And it's something that I've been trying to do every morning and um, it's kind of the step that guides me into the ultimate like big picture, like boss lady, CEO vibes. <laughs> like I think it's just so powerful and motivating. And this is just like, I don't know. I think that's just such a fun photo and she's just so beautiful and like classy and their little coffee, Ugh, just perfection. And then, um, obviously, eating healthy is, like, something that's so important. And it's something that I try to do as much as possible. And this is just, like, a dream come true. Like, okay, if I can get my fridge like that, I'm going to do that. And then, like, green juice, just cute. And then believe in yourself so strongly that the world can't help but believe in you, too. And I think that is so stinking cute. But it's simple, like I said, like just change them out, make them every month or like every week or something. And it's so fun. But I'm gonna make this my home screen on my computer. And I'll show you guys after. Ta da! Spotty vibes only! Am I right? <laughs> you know the vibes. Eye masks, hair shower. I'm ready to start my day. It's 3.30, but I'm, I'm ready to start it. I'm ready. Bagels fueled me. Made my vision board. Seen straight. LFG! Gonna watch some YouTube while I fold laundry. What an exciting day. Guys, it's literally Tuesday morning. I don't know where my week has gone. Like, I just, I mean, okay, they're not like Tuesdays, like even close to Friday. I just mean, like, I feel like the last time I vlogged was literally Sunday. I don't know. My 
my life is just so unorganized right now to be honest but i was like re-watching the clips like i started editing this vlog and i was like um i realized that i had the clip with like nick and schmidt from new girl in and i never explained why i was facetiming or not facetiming like zooming them oh my goodness oh my gosh there is a fight at sprouts right now wait i'm gonna pause oh my gosh that was wild okay anyways i never explained why i got the opportunity to talk to them and if you are if you don't go to cal state san marcos um like school i go to you probably won't know but we have this thing every year called festival 78 and normally we have uh like a singer or like some live performance like a concert it's almost like a mini coachella it's pretty fun but we obviously can't do that this year because of covid and you know large gatherings and all that so they brought on like nick and schmidt from new girl and we got to like ask them questions and talk to them and it was so much fun and i got a bunch of dms and people were like oh my gosh like are they the same as they are in the show um like how are their personalities identical literally identical they were so freaking funny like i was literally just sitting there in my room and i was like cackling i was like ha 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 <laughs> it was so funny but that was awesome um like honestly beyond words so that was literally fangirling so hard like i'm getting butterflies thinking about schmidt and nick i'm kind of in love with both of them but can't decide which one i love more anyways i also want to announce some exciting news most of you guys who know me probably know this already um i've also like posted about it. it's not like a secret i just wanted to formally talk about it on here and announce that i'm moving to boston massachusetts and on like june 3rd i'll be moving and i got approved for my apartment um signed the lease got all like the deposits down so it's like official and i'm gonna be road tripping i'm attaching a u-haul and just picking up my stuff and going over there so i'm going to boston for um grad school i'm gonna i want to be a data scientist so i want to study data analytics and as well as digital marketing because i think it's really relevant right now and i just think those tools are going to be something useful for my entire life just because everything is so technique environment that we live in now and everything's virtual and like big data and data science are just what everyone wants and it's like the new just i don't know it's kind of just like up and coming and yeah so i've taken a few courses on it this year but i want to expand my knowledge on it so i'm going to grad school for that over there it is virtual so i technically don't need to be living in boston but i wanted to um try something new you know i've been in california my whole life i love it um well, i was actually born in oregon but i moved when i was five so like that basically been in california my whole life um and i just figured like i'm will be done with school soon or undergrad at least um why not like have this opportunity to just explore the world and um travel i don't know just get out of my comfort zone and that's kind of something that i want to talk about and um expand on is just how important it is right now to sort of take those chances and um obviously like we're still young well i'm assuming that most people <laughs> watching this are probably around my age but if not like who cares you can still follow your dreams and take chances and whatnot but i definitely was hesitant about moving there just because i have never lived anywhere else besides california i don't really i know a few people there um but not like a crazy amount but i'm just really excited to i'm really proud of myself too for taking this risk in applying to grad school and moving across the country and um, just challenging myself to just become more mature and grow up, I guess. And it's, you know, 22, it's time to get out of my comfort zone and do what I gotta do. Um, I I don't think, I don't, I don't wanna switch jobs. I really love my job right now. So hoping that still works out, it's remote. So I think it should be okay. And then I'm applying for another job right now. So hopefully I can work both those jobs. But the second job I'm applying for is um, totally different than what I'm doing right now. And that's why I think it'd be good to have both of them. But 
Um, I don't really want to talk about that one because I don't want to jinx anything because it's like an actual, actual dream come true of mine. Like I, I'm just feeling like I'm living in a dream right now, but I just wanted to pop on and say that, you know, believe in yourself, take chances and, um, explore the world and travel. I mean, not travel safely. I mean, don't go like crazy. Obviously we're still like in a pandemic, but you know, take the risk and get out of your comfort zone and live your life for you because life is too short to ever put on hold for anyone or anything and put yourself first because you're the only person who has been with you every single step of the way through your journey. And if something doesn't make you happy or isn't fulfilling you, get rid of it, let go of it. And, you know, just be happy and believe that you are capable of living the, your dream life and, um, you know, make your five-year-old self proud and live for you and just enjoy life because it goes by so fast. So that's my little talk of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I actually filmed another video this morning. Um, like you're probably gonna recognize the outfit when you see it, but I'm gonna hop off now and I'm sitting outside Sprouts and I still haven't gotten my coffee. I'm just ranting in the car. <laughs> and yeah well i love you guys and thank you so much for supporting my little channel and for all your positive words and support during my little journey so i will see you guys in my next video bye